From Crunch Econometrics, I will take you through our series on cointegration test. After performing stationary to test, you are likely to have three outcomes. The first one could be that the series are integrated of order zero. That is, they are all stationary in levels, they require no further differencing. Another outcome could be that the series are integrated of order one. That is, they are stationary after forced difference. The third likely outcome could be that the series are integrated of different orders. That is, they are having a combination of I.O. and I.1 series. In this tutorial, we are only going to concentrate on the first outcome when the series are integrated of order zero. What do you do? In this scenario, Performing a cointegration test is absolutely not necessary. Reason is that any shock to the system in the short run quickly adjusts to the long run equilibrium. In this regard, the variables do not exhibit any short run interactions, so there is no need to perform a cointegration test. Rather, only estimate a long run model using the ordinary least squares. In this model, the variables should not be lagged and they should not be in their different form. Only specify the static form of the model. An example is what is shown on the screen. So when your variables are integrated of order zero, that is stationary levels, please do not perform any cointegration test. It's not necessary. In essence, estimating the short run model is not necessary if the series are stationary in level. So I'm going to take you through what you would do uh, in eViews if you have this kind of scenario, that is when your series are integrated of order zero. I have my eViews already popped up, and in today's tutorial, I'll be using these three variables, log of PCE, log of PDI, and log of GDP. Remember, Cointegration test is absolutely not necessary under the assumption that these three variables are integrated of order zero. That is, they are stationary in levels. That is the assumption that we are using. So what do you have to do? You go to quick, click on estimate equation, and here you list all your variables. The dependent variable first, LNPDI next, then LN GDP. On that method, you can see, I'm not going to change this. It is still LS, least squares. So when your series are integrated of order zero, you are only estimating the ordinary least squares, OLS, and in the static form. So this is the long run um, estimation that we are about to perform. So click OK. And here is the output. Remember, we are assuming that the series, in this case, are integrated of order zero. So that is the assumption. And here, the only interpretation you have to give it is the elasticity interpretation. This is the log-log uh, functional form of the model. And you can see here again, on that method, you can see least squares. So this is the best you can do if you have an I.O. series. Do not estimate the short-run model, only estimate the long-run model because the variables do not exhibit any short-run interactions. Having said that, once again, know that performing a cointegration test is absolutely not necessary because in this case, all the variables are stationary in levels, only express the static form of the model and run OLS. In essence, do not estimate a short-run model. It is not necessary. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos from Crunch Econometrics and stay tuned for the part two of this series where we show you what to do if the series are I1.